What's going on guys and welcome to another video where today I'm going to be doing a compression test on my Audi S3 because we are getting it mapped tomorrow so I want to make sure make sure that everything is all good to go and um, yeah let's just go ahead and jump into the video. Yeah yeah well it's basically tomorrow isn't it? Andy's here he's been on the channel before. Hello. <laughs> and uh, he's doing some drop links on his Fiesta. Oh well. Definitely a Galaxy. <laughs> Galaxy. And then uh I've also got this Fiesta over here, which I'm gonna be doing a cam belt and full service, and then uh, just flipping it basically. It's just a little flip car, really. Uh, get it for cheap and sell it for whatever when it's done. Yeah, so we're gonna head uh, to get the. You can go for it, yeah. We're uh, get the uh, ignition coils off. And then take the spark, spark plugs out and then go ahead and get the compression tester all wired up and ready to get some readings. And hopefully we uh, don't have anything to worry about, but just for peace of mind, um, I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. So Andy's just showing me his ball joints and how destroyed they are. That's good, that. That's what you want. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and get these disconnected. Pretty damn simple, I think. You just that's it, that's what I'm done. This one, there we go. That one, and that one, just push them off. There we go. That's out of the way. Try and get them down there so I don't have to deal with them anymore. And then I'll go ahead and get all these out out of the way as well i'm not actually picked up the camera in a little while i think my last video was almost two months ago but obviously because of circumstances i haven't been able to make a lot of videos but oh, luckily this one doesn't conclude anything that i can't do oh, this one's been a little bit more difficult Come on. I'm gonna head and get a uh, flathead screwdriver and try and pry that up. So, pliers. Uh, don't recommend doing that. If you have really bad seas ones, can probably damage it, but it was just a little bit stuck in there, so. Okay, so next we're gonna go ahead and to get all the plugs out and then go ahead and get it all set up, but. If you guys haven't done your plugs in a while, I definitely recommend if you're going to be doing this, um, just change your plugs over. Like I've already done mine not too long ago and this hasn't really moved for a few months, so um, these plugs should be fine. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get them out now. Okay, so we've got a little trust reliable um, compression tester. So I wanted to go ahead and get this connected to the bit that I need. Um, and make sure it's tight, otherwise if you start unthreading it inside the block, this sort of light stays in. So I want to make sure that this is definitely tight to the cable. Uh, and then it goes ahead and tightens into that. And then it's uh, good to go. Okay. So, I'm going to head and thread this in there. I'm talking to you, big man. He's having fun doing his drop links and not coming off. <laughs> uh, get this threaded down there. I think it'd be better if I took this off, actually. Come on. There we go. Try and get this threaded in as tight as possible. There we go. And then bang. Gauge back on. 
gonna try and set you guys up so you guys can see the gauge and then I'm gonna go ahead and crank it over. Right. Here we go, boys. Let's see what we're saying. Cool. That's a good kit, though. All right, one down. Next one to go. We read about one. 140. Um, not 100% sure what these are meant to be at. Yeah, you've got to wiggle it around a little bit to get it in there. Uh, but if they all read 140, then most likely it's uh, not going to be far off from what it's supposed to be. Uh, it's quite a cheap kit anyway, so we shall see. Again? Yeah. Oh yeah. My diesel. <laughs> Last one. Yeah, same. Okay, so we've got about 140 to 145 between all um, four cylinders. So I'm gonna head put the spark plugs back in, put the coil packs back on, and um, yeah, that basically concludes your um, compression test on the Audi S3. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to head, uh, wrap this video up now. Anyway, um, obviously it's a bit easy enough to know how to put everything back together. Um, but, um, yeah, like I said, guys, tomorrow is the map. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll record us driving there and then, um, hopefully get some dyno pause. Uh, video footage of it on the dyno and obviously I'll get the graph and everything with the before and after Obviously we're going on stage 2 plus so we expect it probably like 370, 380 and uh, We'll get our first initial reactions as well once we collect the car and I'll get a cam set up inside for our reactions and everything and then um, Yeah, we'll go from there Okay guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you guys out if you ever need to do a compression test on Audi S3 or 2 litre TFSI and um, yeah, I'll go ahead and catch you guys in the next video.